Bookstores, bookshops, and libraries. Come with me today on Logan Lee's adventures in Buenos Aires, Argentina, as I indulge in one of my favorite hobbies, being a bibliophile. From the grandest to the most charming bygone era nooks, these are my top picks for where to go in the capital when it comes to for the love of books. Of course, I had to kick off our first library slash bookstore tour of Buenos Aires with the best slash most opulent one, right? You're looking at what in 2019 was named the world's most beautiful bookstore by National Geographic. And this building was designed as a theater called Teatro Gran Splendid in 1919, featuring ceiling frescoes painted by Italian artists. And the theater had a seating capacity of about or just over a thousand people and staged a variety of performances, including appearances by tango artists. Now, in the late 20s, the theater was converted into a cinema and in 1929 showed the first sound films ever to be presented in Argentina. Of course, the building was subsequently renovated and converted into what we see now today as this bookstore, with the cinema seating removed and in its place, bookshelves were installed. The ceiling, the ornate carvings, the crimson stage curtains, the auditorium lighting, and many of the architectural details thankfully still remain to its glory. To top it off, how epic is this Harry Potter stand with the floating acceptance letters? Hogwarts Pilot, I have one, I have one guys. <laughs> Took so long, but it's here. And this whole brick facade of the cart at platform, nine and three quarters. <laughs> so cool, and they have a few editions of the books here as well. It is stunning. Actually sitting here in the most beautiful bookstore in the whole entire world, which was, of course, this grand old theater having a lemon pie. What else? <laughs> mm. A great lemon pie. <laughs> this is my favorite, probably right now, as I'm exploring the city for the first time. I just got here a few days ago. Probably my favorite spot in Buenos Aires so far. I'm gonna be starting my Spanish classes at the University of Buenos Aires soon enough, and this is probably gonna be a spot where I would just come and study and have great pastries. And with this view, like I can just stare up at that ceiling for ages. And I love how everything is lit up, all the books down here. This is like my book lover's paradise. It's truly just fantastic. And it's just such a calm environment too from the bustling city, which I love. The energy here, I love. But what a magical place. Ooh, I love how you can also, so these seats here, these prime seats here, you can also sit in them and just read and just relax. That's pretty cool. Actually, is he that cool? No. <laughs> and then here is the theater part itself where you can just come, well, the stage itself, I mean, where you can just come sit, have a drink, bite or so. Walking about five minutes from El Adenio is the National Library of Teachers. Apparently, this is a very stunning 
place. So of course I'm gonna go in and check it out and show you. Come on, we got some books to read. This is a public library and was founded on January 15 in 1870, specializing in educational sciences and pedagogy. It works in this historical building of the Palacio Sarmiento. And I love the worn down leather chairs in here, as well as the shelves filled with all of these rusting hardcover books. If you poke around, there's also a books that details the library's first opening and construction with photos of when this building was finished and nothing was actually all around it like the land around here was just barren and empty except for this library it's incredible how much care has been put into the beauty here and i'm so glad that spaces like this still exist today for the public it's rare to me in this day and age to find places that are indoors that are still free that's not like a mall or something and not commercial that you know that's why it's another big reason why i love public libraries you'll see a lot of students coming in here to study especially in the main reading room downstairs while the second floor up here the mezzanine area looks over everything just so eloquently This is Backroom Bar. It is whatever you want it to be, whether it's a cafe, a bookstore, or actual a bar with this gorgeous terrace outside here with live jazz music at 6 p.m. I'm going to be back for that. But on our library slash bookstore tour of Buenos Aires, I would say that this is one of I mean, I keep saying this because like there's so many favorites. But this is a neighborhood favorite because I literally live five minutes walking from here, just down a few blocks. It is just gorgeous to come here on a day like this where you can just sit with a cup of coffee, read, enjoy, like be surrounded by these gorgeous books. I love it. I love it so much. And the design itself is how stunning these shelves are. It's just a nice, lovely place to be in Palermo, Soho. We hop into the next one, which is still in the same neighborhood. Just a few more blocks down. Can't wait to show you guys this one. I know exactly where my love of books come from. When I was in elementary school, I was always fascinated by the colorful visuals that came out of the books we had in the classroom. I've always gravitated to beautiful things and visual feasts. So then in middle school, my mom would drop me off at a library every Thursdays after school because on Thursdays in our Toronto district public libraries, the libraries always stayed open much later. And there I would just devour so many different types of books from comics, graphic novels, to your Lemony Snicket, um, Avi, Harry Potter, before checking them out to take home with me. And then in high school, there was this change of books stores called Chapters, now called Indigo, I think, where my friends and I would meet up. It was very similar to that one coffee shop place in sitcoms where your squad always hang out at, except for us, instead of the mall or a coffee shop, it was the bookstore. They literally have everything from fashion to like any type of photography, of course, cookbooks, which I love. You need a bigger suitcase to bring all this home. <laughs> I just love browsing bookshops.
I was walking to my next spot that I wanted to show you, but then I stumbled upon this bookstore. I literally stumbled upon it, like just a block down from the previous bookstore. This is crazy, and I love this. I, lo I just love how there's so many bookshops, independent bookshops around. And I look at this beautiful stairwell as well. It's gorgeous here. And then there's a little cafe that you can sit in. I love how these bookshops are paired with cafes all the time too. Like there's so many of them. And a wide selection of like really good books to explore. Look at this. I was literally just crossing the street down there. This is the perfect city to just roam around and get lost in because whatever you're looking for whether it's like an art gallery or a cute cafe or for me also cafe slash bookstop slash library you can just find it in any single block and it's just so unexpected really <laughs> my heart my heart <laughs> Okay, this is a bookstore I really want to check out. Let's go in here. It's called Eterna Cadencia, which means internal cadence. How romantic. I, I am quite in love. There are so many cool bookstores and nooks like this in Palermo. I mean, this is in Palermo, Hollywood. I'm telling you, like, all Palermo. But so, so beautiful. Like, this, this chandelier with, like, this vine leaf motif. And then just being surrounded by mahog, like, wood shelves and all these books. So, so beautiful and like the covers here they have some really cool book covers in this region i'm gonna tell you that wow they have all the classics here too and this was like a mega bookstore and well to be fair it had an adjoining coffee shop so we did get drinks there too but our little squad would pick a little corner of this bookstore grab magazines our favorite gossip girl novels just for the aesthetics you know because we already read them and flip through the magazines and catch up with each other it was our little type of heaven Well, we know of speakeasy bars, but do you know of speakeasy bookstores? This one called Felena in my neighborhood, it definitely has that feeling. Like this is, this is it, this is it. And then out to ring. Is this is open? This is Felina, and I know I've showed you so many awesome, beautiful, just out of this world bookstore, but I think this bookstore definitely has a very special place in my heart because from the outside, as you saw, you just wouldn't imagine that there's this whole world within these walls. A whole world of lifestyle where art and culture and literature comes together and on a regular weekday like this the owner of Elena will invite you for some coffee or wine whichever you prefer and you can just sit out and enjoy this gorgeous courtyard or wander through the hallways of the bookstore with that magnificent bookshelf or the fire, sit by the fireplace, enjoy the record playing. It is just, it's such an ambiance here. It's such a, I would love it if this was my home. And there's different parts to 
this space that is also private that of course like just me I'm like still a customer but I feel like I'm a house guest that's the environment here it's like a second home that you're actually a friend that is invited to the bookstore even though there's this magnificent what it looks like rooftop but oh, there's just so many other more places here that I want to explore and see but oh, it's, it adds this little bit of mystery to the bookstore as well at the same time just such a quiet escape from the rest of the city that I love in Buenos Aires but the fact that this is smack middle of the city in this oasis is just mind-blowing and this coffee is so good too <laughs> Browse some books off the street with this lovely church view right here and then of course this old world bookstore as an adult with my own income and living space now i really want to build my own library back home now i live in the netherlands with my partner Jeroen, so our space is a bit small, housing crisis and Dutch living standards all that compared to North America. But I still long dream of a floor to ceiling, stacked with books on shelves after shelves, converting an entire whole wall in my home. Bonus if it comes with a ladder like these libraries and bookshops in Buenos Aires. And I pledge that I will make this dream a reality one day. I'm already collecting a lot of books, buying different books that I just love and adore. And I'm really picky with covers and editions as well. Uh, I'm not going to get into it for this vlog because I can really dork out on that. But it's a dream that I'm working on and slowly becoming a reality. And just being here in Buenos Aires, getting to live here uh, for this season as I work remote is just already getting to explore these bookshops and libraries is another type of dream come true. Now heading, sorry this is a dark hallway, but I'm heading into the library of the city of Legislature. <laughs> Ooh, maybe I should have taken this cool elevator. I got to get down. Which is a really cool library smack middle of the historic center. And the whole building is outrageously stunning too. You can see up top is a stained glass window featuring the sun on the flag of Argentina too. I mean, I think this is the floor for the library, but I really enjoy getting lost here. Truly old world Buenos Aires. Okay, I'm heading up to the second floor of the library. I love the sound of these creaky wood. It's a stained glass that looks out. And we're on the second floor here. I mean, if this doesn't motivate me to study Spanish, I don't know what will. It's just I love being in these types of environments to just get into the academic 
scholarly mood. And if this could be my personal home library, oh my god, I would never leave this room. I literally would never leave this room. I would probably eat, have my meals here, sleep here, entertain my guests here, everything in here. Like, what can I ask for more for? Like, a fireplace, chandeliers, <sighs> double decker, two floor, and then long, drapey windows to stare out at. to round up our final stuff on our book slash cool library bookshop places in Buenos Aires is this place which is called Libro Libre Libros Libre and it's basically street stalls for books it is out on one of the most busiest intersection in the city so Plaza Italia is over there and then here it's like stalls after stalls after stalls of like really you can buy anything here I love this and obviously I'm gonna go explore down this alley of outdoor bookshops This is here literally every single day and you can just roam around and it's open every single wide well, I'm not actually sure what time it is open but every single time I pass by it's it's here. The stalls are always here. With like gracious deals as well. <laughs> Alright, if you have a favorite in Buenos Aires, let me know in the comments below because I definitely want to explore more. I know these are just a few of the available book stops in the city, but these are like my favorite slash some unexpected finds today too. And so I want you to leave me a comment down below what you think of today's adventure and give this video a like if you haven't already hit subscribe and i'll see you the next buenos aires loganly adventures